Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's eight twenty. Uh, we've got the, we've got a dentist appointment this morning. I couldn't make this up. Honestly, this year has been the most awful for appointments. I've never had so many appointments in all my life. I've been to doctors, dentists, hospitals, different dentists, and it's like it's only April. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, when you suffer with anxiety like I do, and I know a lot of you do too, you can understand where I'm coming from. And it's like it's just been one thing after another. So today is only a check up, but they're going to check on the tooth that I should have had taken out. And then I've got another filling at the back that's got to be cracking it. And it's like my mouth is just a mess. I'm dreading it. I'm dreading what they're going to say. Anyway, so I'm rushing around to get an early breakfast and stuff, try and get myself a bit more human. My appointment's not till half past 10, so I've got to leave here about. 10 10 past 10 something like that so we've got a little bit of time so i've just made myself some breakfast i've got 30 grams of bran flakes and my friends have got bran flake too right ready one don't feel forced to get it then two three right dolly it's there was that nice Happy morning. Oh, I don't know if I've already said this, but it's pouring with rain. Right, I've done all my makeup, got all my little Avon favourites on. So weather, drizzly rain. Oh, it's only 10 today. Yeah, it was 18 at the weekend. Totally bonkers. Morning, little me. Flora. Happy. Who else have we got? Bubba. Little mental potato. Little mental health just a big hug to everybody if you're going through something like me at the minute you don't really enjoy it big hugs hopefully they'll be light on the other side and it'll pass like everything does uh right so calendar of the day what have we got i'm not afraid of storms for i'm learning how to sail my ship there you go perfect we're learning how to sail our ship at the minute right so lovely chanel's wisdom We've got, I don't understand how a woman can leave the house without making herself up a little. Yeah, I always do my makeup in the morning. It's just part of getting dressed to me, but some people don't. It's just personal choice. Right, black cab wisdom. We've got those who rush through life finish first. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I don't rush, so hey, fingers crossed we'll be okay. Right, boring jobs. So, I've done my hair, done my makeup, got dressed. Um, boring jobs and we've got about 20 minutes till we've got to leave. Here I am. I've just had a mad sneezing fit. Oh, I know lovely Gloria's been poorly with this bug, even though she's on the other side of the world. Um, and she's like, said she's been poorly for like six to eight weeks. And honestly, you cannot shift this blooming bug. It's horrible. One minute you feel all right, then you don't. Then you start coughing, then you start sneezing again. Then you've got a sore throat again, and it's just like, go away. So I've had it for about a week. My mum always says anything like this always takes a couple of weeks to get over. So obviously we've still got a bit of it, but it's like, really? I'm sick of blowing my nose. <laughs> Look at Dolly watching me. She's like, I know you're going out soon. <laughs> They know, don't they? When they know, they know. Right, 10 o'clock. We really don't want to go. Well, obviously, Ruby only went yesterday to the orthodontist, so they can't really do anything to Ruby. It's a bit of a daft appointment, so I think they'll just count the teeth or whatever, but my teeth are just like, they need so much looking at. <gasps> We've arrived. We're a bit early, so we're parked at the shop across the road. <laughs> Right, we've arrived at the dentist. We've got like 10 minutes, so we'll go in in like five minutes. I've spent so many days at appointments, haven't we, Ruby? Ruby's not bothered today because she knows they're not going to do anything to her. We're back in the car. So who's got to fill in? Oh, poor Ruby. And with man, he's just keeping an eye on them all. And it's just a case of they will hurt. It's just a case of when. <laughs> so I haven't got to have anything done. But at some point that tooth will have to come out. It's just a case of keeping an eye on it. Oh. <laughs> We've made it home 
and this has come through the post. It's a sign. It's not actually addressed to me. It was addressed to James. Um, it's a sign. Look, we can come to Ireland. Woo! Three hundred and fifty-nine pound per person. I think if we sold a handbag, we could just go to Ireland. What do you think, Ruby? I don't know if you need a passport to go to Ireland. I would imagine that you probably don't, and that's probably the most gormous thing I've ever said. <laughs> but look, oh, it looks so tempting, doesn't it? Oh, but we'd have to leave you behind. Yeah, you and Ruby. Ruby, you could stay here with the dogs. <laughs> oh, right, we can actually breathe because for the rest of the day, we've got no more appointments. <laughs> So Ruby wants me to bleach her blooming hair. I hate doing that. That also causes me anxiety in case her hair drops out. But she's like, please just do a little tiny bit. So I think in a minute we're going to get our scruffs on and bleach a little bit of Ruby's hair. When I get the bleach out, I'm always tempted to bleach mine. Jane, don't. <laughs> don't cause yourself more stress. Do you want to see something that'll make you laugh? So I've just been looking at my little hairdressing bag. This bag's very old. There's all sorts of stuff in it. Look at this. <laughs> so... This is, it's a finger, so it's nothing rude. It's a finger, um, and it's for trimming inside your ears and your nose and stuff. Uh, we bought it as a joke years ago, and it's gone all sticky, and now it's got all hair stuck to it. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's horrible. Look at it. But sometimes we also, we had to defuzz his like, little ears and stuff, and, yeah, we used to use this. It's very strange. Okay, it? so the bleach is mixed up. Just the truth, the dentist just cost me £26.80. To talk to somebody and just let them tap at your teeth. £26.80. I think when you're older, Ruby, you need to be a dentist. Uh, right, so I've no idea what we're doing, but we've mixed a bit of bleach up. Coffee, bleach. <laughs> and a woman who hasn't got a clue what she's doing. All right, so it's been on a little bit. We've only done like a few little bits, um, but she's made me do a couple of bits in the fringe, which I'm a bit scared about. <laughs> it's very scary and the trouble is you think it's lifting and then when you wash it off it hasn't lifted that much it's very deceiving right hair it worked out all right yes so we just did some like really really tiny bits so some bits are lighter as you can see because we've done lots of bleach bits over the years but um yeah it's worked out all right it's lovely and straight like the lady off the timothy advert right so we've got to dinner time so i've got one tesco white roll with cooked chicken and a bit of cranberry sauce on it so off to enjoy my little dinner don't really know how i feel about my teeth it's a bit confusing it's like so i've just got a ticking time bomb in my mouth that could crack or break at any time but they can't really do anything till it does so we have to be very careful what we oh you're gonna love me today how much do you love me do you love me loads oh yeah waggle your tail you don't waggle your tail do you waggle your tail not much florence right i've saved all a bit of chicken they love chicken this is my chicken that i cooked for sunday dinner right are you ready florence right dolly right uh, Winifred There you go And if you're lucky there might be one more bit Oh it's lovely Right are you ready Big bit for Florence because you're the oldest There you go Lovely A little bit for you because you're, you're the baby Don't bite me finger <laughs> You nearly bit my finger You made my heart beat fast Don't do that Winifred There you go Is it nice Oh it was really nice so I unpacked my Avon last night and these are all my goodies. So I've got another pot of the new a new skin renewal. Then they do an eye cream that goes with it, which I have got an eye cream. I'm not sure if I've already got this one or not, but it came as like a little set thing. Then I've got my magic hydrating primer, which I talked about the other day. It's absolutely amazing. Um, my mum's ordered some of this, which she said is really, really good. So it's serum lip treatment. And then, what else did I get? Oh, an eyeliner to try. This is a new gel eyeliner, so we'll give that a go. And then I've got two new colours of, no, are they new? Um, I think one of them might be new, I can't remember. Um, oh no, I think they're both new. So we've got the 16 hour lip colours. So they've got Thriving Taup and Rise Up Ruby. So obviously that's a red one. And this is like a darker nudie colour. And then I got another pot of the 24 hour, not 24 hour, 16 hour, can't quit cafe, can't quit, I can't speak, can't quit cafe, which is my favourite. Um, so I think when nip to shower shot, I've got a drop parcel off from my husband and I thought, I think I might nip to my favourite village one. 
desperate need to hoover need to hoover everywhere it's disgusting um but i just want to go for a little rummage and i thought we won't be long so ruby doesn't want to come so we'll try on these new lipsticks and we'll make our way across the treasure mm, so this is the thriving talk one i don't know if i like it or not when i first put it on i thought oh no but i think the more as it dries it's not bad i don't know if it's my favorite but it's all right for a change mm. I still think to it a bit, but it won't come off. <laughs> the last, um, they're supposed to be 16 hours. They are really good. Uh, so we'll see how it goes on. I'm in the car, so I'm gonna drop the parcel off and then go for a little rummage. Ruby didn't want to come, so we're going all on our own and it's actually just started raining. <laughs> loving weather and before i set off um i need to say i had a lovely email from andrea um who wanted to thank me for recommending broken biscuits because her friend elaine and her little dog uh betty to remember the names um betty had started struggling walking and stuff and she got diagnosed and something to do with her back legs and the broken biscuits charity that we recommended which bubba the pug calendar was raising funds for and um, they actually helped her dog so little betty has now got like wheels oh bless her and she wanted to thank me for recommending them so elaine and uh, andrea my absolute pleasure cannot believe that the charity helped you it's absolutely brilliant and she's going to send me a photo of the little dog and her little dog so uh andrea i can't wait for your photo and also i had a message on instagram saying did I ever do a video on my Pomeranian? So I don't know if any of you have seen these videos, but when I first got Florence and Winnie, or when I first started doing YouTube, I made a video of them both separately. So I made a video all about Winnie, and I made a video all about Florence, and somebody messaged me saying they'd watched them both and they absolutely loved them. And did I do one on Dolly? And I haven't, so I'll have to do that. It was so funny, you need to watch them. Um, I'll have to try and find the links for them because the one of Winnie is actually bonkers because when Winnie was younger, she was really, really crazy running around like a wally and it's really funny. So I need to find them videos and show you. But I haven't done one on Dolly, my little Pomeranian, and I really should. Um, so that must be on my to-do list. We've arrived. Lipstick's quite nice now I've come outside. Um, I also want to say as well, I did my good deed of the day this morning. So I dropped, uh, no, sorry. I went in the shop and got my neighbor's paper and there was a lady and gentleman in front of me, quite elderly, that were trying to collect a parcel from John Lewis that had been dropped off at the shop and they couldn't work out um, how to do like the barcode thing on their phone to get the parcel. I felt so sorry for them. There was a massive queue. The assistant was just like, oh, can I serve these other people while you try and find your barcode? Anyway, so I helped her. I got a phone and I went into like her messages and stuff and I was like, it's there, lot. And I, I helped her and she couldn't thank me enough. And I said to her when I got back in the car, I was like, when you get older, please help other people because it's just so kind. I felt for them so much and it's so horrible. Like as you get older, you don't quite understand modern technology quite so much. I don't and it confuses you and it's horrible and I felt for them so much anyway so I helped them and they got their John Lewis parcel bless them so that was my good deed of the day
I think it's windier than it was the other day. <laughs> I've been blown to pieces. Right, let's get home. Right, we've made it home. I've got Dolly going to see my neighbour. Take her a paper and her Avon. Slow her down. And I need a wee. And I need a coffee. Come on. Oh, the wind's horrible. made me laugh so much because it's so windy i feel like i've been blown for a bush backwards oh dolly's flirt fur were flying everywhere my hair were flying everywhere it was so funny <laughs> we didn't walk very far did we it was horrible anyway so it was nice to see pat uh right so it's five to four and i need to start my husband's tea because he's got his little job tonight so all oh, right let's get cooking again and dolly wanted to go back out again in the wind <laughs> is balmy oh, and here's betty apart from my stupid phone keeps making her go lie hang on are oh, you silly phone is that better so that's be hang on <laughs> that's better okay so there's little betty bless her and there's the wheels aren't they special oh i'm so glad that they helped and there's Andrew's dogs. There's Florence's double. There's a little pug that's deaf like Winnie. And there's a little cross in the middle. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. My heart's melting. They're adorable. Look. Thank you for sharing pictures of your special doggies. It's so lovely. My tea's in the oven. Really afraid. I feel like we saw you loads the last couple of days. And today you've like gone back into hibernation mode, haven't you? We haven't seen you much today. Hey. We've seen you. We've seen you in the wind. Wasn't it windy, Dolly? It was so windy. You wanted to light down there, Winifred. It was very windy. Yes, I know. You're in the way of the camera. We're trying to look at Winnie. <laughs> and what did we buy today from the charity shop? I only bought two things. So I bought this wool. Couldn't resist it. Do you know why? Can you see? It's glittery. 
It's like glittery, but it's not glittery. It's really funny, look. It's so pretty. And I thought, even if I just use it for wrapping around something when I've done some sewing or something, it was just so pretty. And then I got a little bit of blue fabric because I've had um, my uh, boyfriend's, boyfriend, my husband's auntie would like uh, some blue carrots. And I thought, well, that's perfect because it's got like that nice blue in it. And I thought they'll make lovely carrots. So they're for my little carrots. And that was all I bought. Ooh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, Here's my tea. So for tea tonight, I've got 100, uh, 200 grams of uh, McCain's lighter chips, low fat mayonnaise, Young's fish, and some broccoli. Off to enjoy it. Ooh, the sky looks a bit angry. Oh, is it going to rain? You can bet your crystal balls that it will. <laughs> it's feeding time. My dinner was delicious. It was so nice. Right, you ready? There you go. No, that's not yours, darling. Right, Winnie Fred. Winnie Fred, there you go. And last but not least, Pelicans. And the sun's come out. It's sunny at the back and looks like it's going to chuck it down at the front. <laughs> You've got to love British weather. It's so random, right? There you go. And it's still really windy. And my windows need cleaning. They're absolutely filthy. <laughs> and that's another thing when the sun comes out, you can see how blooming wind, uh, dirty everything is. Oh. Right, it is. I'm going to leave you because you, I've got to wash up, do pack up for everyone for tomorrow, uh, ring my mum, and I'm watching the Interior Design Masters. I love that. It's on tonight. And also, is it on channel five? I think it's four or five. Um, we were watching a thing that started last night. Is it the cuckoo or something? Uh, we started watching it last night. It was really good. And it's on again tonight. And then we've watched, finished watching, <laughs> look at my face. We've finished watching this stupid thing that we watched for like six episodes called The Passenger. Did anybody else watch it? It was utter rubbish. The ending was rubbish. The whole thing was rubbish. And I've no idea why we watched it. It was utter crap. It really was rubbish. Um, anyway, so I don't recommend that. It was absolutely rubbish. It was on ITV th uh, 3, I think. Um, anyway, so the cuckoo looks quite good. So it is. Many, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope if you're desperate to go to the dentist or something that I've inspired you to go, um, or the doctors or the hospital, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I've got more appointments next week. I just can't get enough of it all. <laughs> So my dears, if you do enjoy a bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three flippers. My website is down below and my little Avon shop's down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.